Good evening, one today is Thursday, September 21st, 2023, Jump Day 4, Friday the 22nd. All right, let's go. Well, we're back to none again, and that honorable mention again, I I, I, re- I just realized I was showed you one, and then I tried to talk you out of it. So let's go back to none for setups, and I know it's sometimes hard to prove a negative, but now with the market looking really, really ugly, you can kind of see why I've been telling you not to do anything for a while, and as I preach, I wish... Somebody would have told me that long, long, long time ago. I, I've gotten caught up in too many bull markets to where I just don't want them to end. And you just have to really have an open eye and pay attention to the database when things are beginning to come unglued. It's not the end of the world just yet, but you might be able to see it from here. We'll talk about that in just one second. Anyway, bump your stop a little lower on KBH as off the preach. You're not going to get rich on the short side, but it sure is nice to have at least one short on when the market begins to tank a little bit like it did obviously just not a whole lot to get excited about here this one looks okay it's got overhead resistance i guess that'd be a good problem to have weatherford looks okay too it's a little extended i'd like to see a little bit more knockout but not too much so it's kind of like it's it's gonna have to be kind of a a goldilocks kind of situation here i'm sort of surprised and you'll see the energies in one second overall had a tko but i'm really not seeing uh, any meaningful setups. These uranium stocks all really need a, a deeper pullback, but I'm putting putting them in here to get them on your radar. I think they could use a pretty serious correction, and then we'll look to go after them. Let's take a look at the portfolio, and then we'll pop out to the overall market. KBH getting whacked pretty hard here. We're going to go ahead and bump the stop on that one. I sure would like to see, obviously, that IPT hit before getting too excited, and then we'll obviously bring it to break even should that occur. But anyway, so far so good on the so good there, knock on wood. K and F not so good. Coming in fairly hard today. On your stops, just in case on that one. LFMD just continues to kind of meander in here. Good to see it hanging in there though, in spite of conditions. When I was getting ready to do my market analysis earlier, I was thinking, boy, I'm gonna have so much to talk about. This recording is gonna be so long. But the bottom line is, it's everything we've been worried about lately is sort of coming true. The P's are breaking down from this potential head and shoulders. And again, it's not the end of the world, but we definitely need to pay attention and see what kind of follow through. This might just be the one last shakeout, and then the market goes right back up. But right now, it's just not looking pretty. As a trend follower, you really need to pay attention to what's happening. Let's take a look at the NASDAQ composite. Also breaking down in here, right here at these multi month lows like the peas. One thing I've really been watching in here, and it didn't come in glued today, but it did get whacked a little bit, is prior leaders like Apple. And this is something that Jesse Livermore said, when a bear market begins, your prior leaders correct and just never make it back to their old highs. And as soon as I read that, it made me think, oh, that's Apple. And it's something we do already, but it's good to be reminded of that. Anyway, uh, Rusty, ugh, look how ugly that is, down 1%. Sure looks like it wants to come down to the bottom of its range on the positive note even though i got whacked today a little bit of a tko move energies still look pretty darn good in fact they could actually use a little more correction we should see some setups here fairly soon and if the uranium's correct a little further we'll see some there too just as you go through these sectors one after another breaking down financials break it down in here kind of wide and loosen all over the place but break it down None the less. Drugs, bit of a bummer. They've given up almost all of their breakout. They reached a breakout in here. So you can see they're getting whacked. They got whacked pretty hard today. Biotech continues to kind of roll over and sell off hard in here right at these multi-month lows. Health services on its way lower. Defense, as I would say, acquired a bit. Looking pretty ugly. Tons of overhead supply. Began to break down out of this little pullback in here in earnest today. Look at that. Almost... Well, almost one and three quarters percent. Manufacturing, break it down from high levels. M and C, we've been bullish, bullish, bearish on those guys for a while. Now, now they're beginning to break down in earnest. Leisure breaking down in earnest. Transports selling off fairly hard, almost down to this support. Software looking really ugly, just kind of imploded today. Big gap down, 2% down. And this is another area it stalled prior to its uh, recent highs. These aren't all time highs, but close enough and that's just not a pretty chart there so anyway without bore you too much and hopefully it's not too late for that but uh you can see sector after sector has broken down especially with today's action looking pretty ugly now we're pretty oversold pretty quick in here i'm gonna start paying uh, attention to the vix again i like to dust the vix off whenever things get a little crazy so we'll pay attention to the vix we'll see if it gets 
really, really stretched to the upside, and, and it's we're, we're actually there today. So we could see a, a pretty serious bounce from this oversold condition. I'm going to flesh all this out later tonight in a lot of more detail on the chart show. So we, anyway, we could see a, a pretty serious bounce, but I wouldn't get too excited about that in and of itself as long as everything else is looking as ugly as it is. You know the routine, one day at a time. Today's an ugly day, kind of following suit to what we've been seeing over the last several weeks. Everybody have a great night if you can't make the show, and uh, we'll talk tomorrow. Thank you so much.